Right, so I've been asked a question about making um, a bass rig for the S3. So what I'm going to do now is just run you through something I use in the S3 myself. Um, and hopefully it can help you catch more bass. So basically all I do, I've got a rig body of 0.5 diameter. And I just pull off about two foot of it. And then I'll cut it. So to the bottom of this, I'll attach my weight clip. And tie that on. Just like so. Next, I'll add a crimp. A bead, small swivel, another bead, and a crimp. And at the top, I'll tie a swivel. Remember to always wet your knots as well, guys. It prevents friction on the line. Just trim that off. And so all you're left with is that. Now what I'm gonna do, slide that part halfway up. So it's about a foot from the bottom and a foot from the top. So you get that. And now I'm gonna crimp these two crimps into position. Don't crimp them tight, always leave a little gap. So there's movement for the swivel and the beads. There. So it's all you've got is your weight is gonna be going on here. That's getting attached to your main line. And then you've got that in the middle. Now the reason I do this is because I don't cast very far when I'm S3 fishing. Although you could cast this easy 50 to 80 yards, I wouldn't really cast that far myself. And what I'll now do for the snoods is I use one of these. And I'll tie my snood off on the swivel end. So I'll just do that for you. I wouldn't use this uh, rig if I was fishing a match. I'd just use it if I was doing a bit of pleasure bass fishing and I'd want to target maybe the bigger bass. So my smooth, I'll tie it about two foot long. So it comes down below my weight. So there's the clip. There's the line. I'm now going to put on um, two hooks. So it'll be in a panel pattern. So the first hook I'm going to put on will be in like a chino pattern. But first of all, I'll put some tube up. So it'll hold that hook into place. And then slide this hook free. So it's running. And then I'll tie a 2 o hook onto the bottom. I like them hooks. I mean, I could use them for uh, worms or crab baits, which is what I use mostly down in the S3. So what I'm ended up with is that. 
So what I'm gonna do now with this bottom hook, is just wet it. So it makes the tube and slide over it easier. And see, that's what I'm left with. Now, when I go down there, I'd make a couple of these bodies up first of all, like so. I could keep this on your uh, line at all times if you wish to do so. And that's all I would do is while I'm fishing, I'd make another, take another hook length out of the, the box, bait it up ready. So that's all I'd have to do is then clip my snood on to my swivel each time. So I'd be, when I'd reel in, I'd take my, my bait off if I didn't have a fish on, or even if I did have a fish on it, unclip the snood, get the next one off my box, already baited up, clip it back on, and it's ready to go to cast out straight away. Uh, around where we fish, you usually get a run of bass, which lasts for about an hour, and then it'll disappear, and it'll come back on the feed again. Uh, so you need to be pretty quick when you're, uh, when they start the feed. So, yeah, I hope that helps you and it helps you get more bass. If you like uh, my video, please put a like down the bottom or if you have any questions, add them in the comments. Thanks.